Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Alright, today we're doing Scorpio in Love for June 2019. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wow. Scorpio, you're moving forward. You may have been... Um, in a very, uh, you may have been pulled into two different directions previously, you know, two different decisions, two different choices, but now you're coming in for this week, you're coming in with that energy that you have chosen a path and you're moving forward towards a certain path, okay? And you are um, hopeful, you do have faith that, um, things are going to turn well for you. It's a wish card, so you're hopeful for um, things are going to work out fine. You're hopeful that things are are going to be more clear or you'll have more clarity with the things that are that were confusing you before, primarily perhaps on, on a connection that you've been in. But you're pretty much um, into... I feel that there's also an element here of you healing from some wounds in the past, perhaps. For some of you, you could be a person who is um, like just moving forward to a direction um, for in a, into stardom. Maybe you can be a celebrity. Hmm? As this is a very strong, solid, um, fast um, movement. And this could talk about you being in a spotlight. Okay? So, everybody, when they see you, you may appear as a very bold, um, someone who has that clear direction about life. And someone who is popular. But the challenge here is the three of swords, which talks about from the inside, you may be heartbroken. Somebody may have hurt you. You're still carrying some pain in your heart. All right. These are the cards of the person that you're dealing with. All right. Where they are at right now, um, the person that you're dealing with has the divine feminine and masculine card all together now. Okay. So... Um, I feel that this person, if if this um, signifies both of you, if these two cards signify you and the person you're dealing with, I feel that you are a power couple. <laughs> wow. You see them as someone who can bring, who brings structure into your life, who got, who get everything um, um, in control. This could be someone who is um, very powerful with um, financially, emotionally, or even, you know, physically as well. Uh, they also see you as someone that they can grow and expand with, someone who is very abundant. You're just too perfect to each other. This is a perfect union. When you see if... Am I reading for someone who is a celebrity here? <laughs> Scorpio. And this is a very strong couple I see here. And if um, the world around you is looking at both of you, it, it appears like you're, it seems like you are both, um, this is a celebrity couple that people would envy upon. All right? How does this person see you as right now? Um, the person that you're dealing with see you as someone who um, may be trying to investigate or trying to evaluate you know where you are at right now in that relationship um, they see you as someone who is trying to evaluate is you know with regards to this connection is it still worth um, continuing you're in this evaluating mode Perhaps you have put in effort, more effort in this connection, and then now you are down to this one. Um, you're looking at this pentacle and seeing, for everything that I have done, 
Is it still worth um, investing more towards this connection? Yeah. And somehow this person that you're dealing with, they see you in that situation. Because at the same time, you are they see you as someone undergoing um, some, I don't know, probably difficulties, some mental um, conflict that you needed to um, be on your own and find some form of um, haven. Or you're looking for that peace of mind. You're looking for that peace of mind. Perhaps with this, you know, in, in the current relationship right now, um, it may look very good from the outside, but something in the inside is causing you pain and may very well bring you to that state of thinking, is it still worth moving forward? Yeah? You, or should I just move on? Transition to a better... Um, life for me honestly though a lot of people will think that this is a moving on card but to me this would be more of trying to heal whatever you have internally you're healing your wounds trying to reconcile your mind and heart because sometimes you know your mind and heart are not really in sync your mind wants to love the person uh, your mind thinks that being with this person is good because it's comfortable it could um this connection can give you a um perfect future something that you have tr dreamed for so long but perhaps your heart is not there in that connection or it could be the other way around um you might be thinking that this connection is not good for you, but your heart says, I still love this person. So, you know, this disparity between the mind and heart um, needs to be checked, needs to be evaluated. And for that to be in sync, this transition is necessary. This is a necessary transition, but it could be very hard. It could be very hard, especially for that person that um, is undergoing that. Okay. And how do they feel about you? Scorpio, I feel that this person that you're dealing with, they feel and they are clear that stability, the stability in their life lies with you. For some of you, they would even come forward and communicate that they want the stability and foundation to be nurtured. That's for some of you. Yeah. But I feel that the person you're dealing with, in their minds, this, is, this connection that you have will give them stability. Or they find stability in this connection in their minds. They also think that you are their soulmate. But it's more like cerebral energy I'm feeling here. It's more um, like, it's more of um, direction by the mind. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing cups here. Emotions wise, um, well, there's heartbreak, but emotions wise, I can only get this from the energy of the Empress, someone who is emotionally aware. This could also be someone who is aware of their emotions, of whether they still have emotions in this connection or not. Yeah, But the person that you're dealing with, they see you as someone that they can be with for a long term. They see that this connection is stable and they think that this is a soulmate connection. Okay, their actions towards you. Um, yeah, this person is still very much thinking. I feel that there could be some doubts. Doubts about this connection. This person is having some doubts in this connection as well. For some of you, this person may be thinking about how to go about being single. 
because they feel that this connection is very is very solid can give them stability but I do feel that this person is also wanting to be single to be self-sufficient on their own or it could very well be you so the uh, yeah this would be your person's energy but you know energies could be vice versa as well so there's someone here who is still is probably thinking how to go about being single probably being out of this connection even though this connection is so much of a power couple connection um, a very stable in terms of financial and everything else but probably there's lacking of um, emotional connection here and someone here is moving forward and hopeful for for um, hopeful for something better for something that they wish they could have hopeful to get their wish come true if this is not your wish then someone here is really hopeful to get that um, to reach that wish all right I hope that makes sense if this person has a message for you Scorpio let's see what messages do they have for you I'm trying to do the honorable thing karma is bitch I finally got mine hmm I'm sorry I held myself back with you you've affected my life significantly so what I'm getting here is that this person maybe is trying to do the honorable thing so perhaps this person is wanting to to have that clarity you know they think that this is a good a be the best connection they could have but at the same time they want to have that emotional alignment with that thought with regards to this connection they want their minds and their hearts to be in line you know and they don't probably want to lead you astray thinking that they are fully committed in heart and mind because as of now I feel that the person you're dealing with thinks that you are a good pair but they also want to feel that you are indeed a good pair at the same time karma is a bitch I finally got mine so I think this very well is in line with whoever is the person is who's caused this heartbreak they finally got their karma and here we have I'm sorry I held myself back with you so with this stability that's why I was getting earlier that this person may be wanting to communicate with you because there could have been some truth that they were hiding or not hiding but they didn't they failed to mention towards you and you've affected my life significantly with this message I do feel that in this union um, someone may have given a, you know if this is a solid um, connection or solid relationship someone may have given a brighter life towards some to this somebody I mean to to the other person that has um, changed changed the life of a person you know that's uh, fairy tale Cinderella life like you have a prince and then you have this little this girl and then when they met things the life of this girl has totally changed so this is what I'm getting from this um, reading it may or may resonate to any of you or it could just be for one or two people all right but this is the energies I'm getting for Scorpio for this week. So let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and hit like and subscribe. Until next time, guys.